So in part five, we're going to work on the colors and the text in here. So let's start to work on that right now. So we have here the color box. And remember, if I do the console log again, or I guess we already have the items here, but I think if we just go in here and just say item itself, that's this, this shorthand that we use here, we should be able to see for every one of these items here. And you can see here, now it will be specific color, font color, etc, etc. So what I can do here is, well, let's look at it. What do I want to do? Uh, to do the easiest one, let's start with the text here. So what I'm going to say here, I want to say here, text dot style. Basically what we're going to do from JavaScript, we go into the CSS code. And I'm going to say here, what will be the style, will be the color, and what will be the color? You can see here we have the stroke style, the point style, the text. You can even see here the font color. And I guess that is hashtag triple six. So what I'm going to say here, font color, but of course it comes from the item as shorthand. So it's an item shorthand here. Then what I want to do here is adding the text. Uh, we're going to see here, uh, let's see here. Well, this should be not even like that. We're going to create a constant of text and then we're going to say here document dot create a text note this is basically like an element within our uh, paragraph and then we're going to say here what exactly text so the item dot text so it should see here this as well if I save that refresh all right, so not yet, because probably we have to append that as well. So what I want to do is this will be dot and then append the child. So what is the child in this case? The text itself. So if I save that, and let's make sure we have like that, or maybe a bit like that, so that we are nice organized. Nicely organized, so there we are. So you can see here we're getting the items. There we are. So the next thing what I would like to do here is if I click on this, of course, this is not yet that, so that will have to, have to be do, done as well. But what I want to do is here putting in the color. So let's start to look how we're going to do this. So we have here this. I'm going to remove this for now and just put in here a few items. We know we want to change the background color of our element. So I'm going to say a span box dot style background color. Uh, and if I don't say it should be just background itself, or is it background color? Probably or maybe it's one or the other. I think background is fine as well. So then what I want to do here is say item dot, and we can see here all the colors. I guess I didn't reload this yet, so I still have this. The fill style the item dot fill style then what I want to do here is I want a border color as well or do we need a border color maybe not even necessary um, or well let's try that as well so we're going to see here background and then this will be the border color and we might check if this needs color as well I have a feeling it should be like that and I'm not 100% certain but we can test that uh, let's see here the fill style fill style pro we have stroke style that is the one of course my bad so if I save this refresh we don't have anything yet and the reason why is we still need our design I think on our uh, item here as you can see here it does recognize uh, the information however it's still a disk here this is the default I want to change that so we need some CSS optimization for that as we're going to do in the next video.